Hi, welcome to Toddler Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about two books that I used in my storytelling last week. The first one is Press Here by Hervé Toulet. And the second one is Tap the Magic Tree by Christy Matheson. I really like both, both of these books because they're great for audience participation. If you have a large group of kids, it might be a little difficult to use them, but if you have a smaller group, I'd say like 10 or 15 kids or less, it's ideal because each kid gets a turn coming up and they feel really involved with the story uh, or the actions in the, in the book. And I've found that the kids just, they feel really special because they, they get to come up and they, they do something magic. So the first book is, I used was Press Here by Arab Toule. And this is a book that everybody enjoys because there's so much dynamic change in it. So the first, it's ready and there's a the yellow dot. I say, press here and turn the page. So press here. On the page and <gasps> there are two dots. Oh, you made two yellow yeah. dots. Excellent. Yeah. So then you bring up. I I'll have one kid start and then the, they go sit down and we see what happened. Then I bring up the next kid and they they tap the dot again. It makes three dots. And then they rub the dot on the left and it turns red and it continues throughout the story. The kids get to shake up the book and the the dots move all around. They tilt the book and it tilts that way. Uh, then they turn out the lights, they blow all the dark away. Sorry if this is spoiling anything for you. Then this is really great because you get to have all the kids sitting together. Maybe one of each one of them has had one chance and they all want to go again but you won't have time to get them all again. But then they get to there and they can clap and they make the dots get bigger. Bigger or smaller? Bigger. 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 Ah! All right, more. Clap some more. Ah! Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And then it works its way back around. Then it comes back full circle. It's really precious. The kids feel like they are doing magic, and you can do a lot of affirmation with them, saying, "Good job. You know, you made. You tilted the book really well, and it turned. Or you." made the dots multiply and things like that. And they really love that. You can also work on colors and you can work on numbers. It's just a lot of fun. Hervé Toulé, whose name I might be saying wrong because I took German in high school and my mom is a Spanish teacher. French is not my forte. All right, he also has another book called Mix It Up and that's colors. So it's the same concept. It's, a, it's very tactile and you're, you're mixing the colors together. So the kids get to learn what happens when you mix red and blue, or you know, yellow and yellow and blue, and yellow and red, and things like that. A lot of fun. After we read that book, we did a, but a little cute finger play. This one because I had a lot of interaction with the kids, having them come up and interact with the book itself. All of my finger plays were very all about wiggling things and doing fun things with your body parts. So the finger play went like this: touch your nose, touch your chin. That's the way this game begins. Touch your head. Touch your knees. Now let's all be pretend to sneeze. Huh? Huh? Oh, we make sure we catch our sneeze and our elbow to practice good, you know, germ catching abilities and not spreading them. Then of course we sing our bubble bubble pop song or all the fishes. Fish. All the fish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. All of the 
the fishes. We do our we did our little little children count to three, little children bend one knee. We do that rhyme as usual. Little kids make a funny face. <laughs> little kids run your place, run your place. Then we moved on to the next book, which is Tap the Magic Tree by Christy Matheson. This book is on the Texas 2x2 list, which is a recommended list of exceptional books for ages 2 through 2nd grade. So 2x2. Two two. Chosen by Texas Librarians, so it's a TLA list. It's excellent. You should try check them out. Just about every book that's on there. No, every book that's on there is wonderful. And I didn't realize this was a 2x2 two two until after I had already used it in story time. But it's called Tap the Magic Tree. It's got a lot of the same ideas as Press Here, where you press the book and you interact with it, and as you turn the page, things happen. This one, by the time we finished Press Here, it was a little exhausting and time intensive to have the kids come up one at a time. And usually I have kids trickle in a little later, and so I'll have more people during my second book, and I want them to sit still a little longer so we can work on that as they get ready for preschool. So this one, I told them, you guys have magic hands, you have magic fingers, and you're gonna help the magic tree, but you need to do it by sitting in your spot. So I had them show me their magic finger, and we pretend they were gonna do the magic tree a bit in the air. So this is a great one for this time of year, though it actually would literally work for any other type of year because uh, it's all about the seasons and the, the tree changes with the seasons. So there's magic in this bare brown tree, tap it once, then turn the page to see. And so, shockingly, once brings one leaf, then you tap it five more times, you get more leaves. It goes through the seasons like that, we get flowers. And then you diff do different things with the book, so you give the tree a little jiggle, and the blossoms fall off the tree. Then you get apples, and then you shake the tree. But I have them, I get, make them use, make a hand, of the, a tree out of their hand, and they shake their hand. Leaves turn and you give a whooshing breeze and all the leaves fall off. Then you clap your hands to bring the snow. And then you have to be patient. Wait, don't go. And then close your eyes and count to ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I bet you can't guess what happens after that. You'll have to read the book and find out. So that's Tap the Magic Tree by Christy Matheson. After that we did I Can Wiggle My Fingers. So I can wiggle my fingers, I can wiggle my toes, I can wiggle my shoulders, I can wiggle my uh, Now all my wiggles are out of me and I can sit as quiet as can be. And then I had them sit down for a second but then I had to get back up because we did a video which was you're wiggling different body parts. I'll put links for all of the sources where I found the finger plays in the description below. So you can head there and find them as well because they're really great sources. And that's all I've got for Toddler Tuesday today. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> so Sophia, she wanted to be up, stay up um, for filming, but she fell asleep. <laughs> so do all of those nice things you can do on YouTube. Like this video, comment, subscribe, share it. If you've used either of these books before, if you like, mix it up or press here or tap the magic tree, let me know in the comments. If you've used them in a different way than I have, I'd love to know because I'm always looking for ways to improve my own storytelling. Thanks. We'll see you next week for YA Wednesday.